Hi, it's Dan with Master of the Morning, so you own the day. With a deeper, more provocative question, what would it mean to you if you could actually master your life and own your destiny? I'm obviously sporting a beard, having had serious throat surgery nine weeks ago. While you've been watching and hopefully enjoying my pre-recorded videos posted on social media, but I thought I'd better jump on here to teach you what I've learned and the transformational process I've actually gone through that has taken me from where I was to where I am today. You see, put on vocal rest where I could not speak one word for the first three weeks of this nine week process, invited me to understand, embrace, and learn from the sounds of silence. Actually acknowledging the reality that we were given two ears and one mouth for one reason to listen twice as much as we speak. And in this process, it took me to a place that I had not been before. It allowed my heart to go to places that my mind could never go, which took me way back to my football days and reminding myself that my recovery from my 14 month paralysis began only when I realized that playing football is just what I did. It's not who I am as a man. And when we identify ourselves in terms of what we do instead of who we are, we become a human doing instead of a human being. Unacceptable of significance is what we seek. So if you're serious about mastering your life in the physical, mental, and spiritual realms in which we actually live, may I just take you to the lessons that I've learned in this nine week ordeal. Physical, I've lost 27 pounds. How, why? Well. I was forced to eat soft foods and eliminate dairy, which was causing phlegm, which invited me to embrace the natural nutrition and energy from fruits and vegetables, where every morning we would brew up a concoction in our juicer with apples and oranges and carrots and beets and pineapple and, 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 and ginger root increasing our intake of turmeric and curcumin from Nourish Me and increasing our vitamin D3 and B12 and vitamin C and zinc intake, obviously with that nitric oxide that comes from Cardio Miracle. And what did it do? It put me in a different positive mental state full of energy to realize that when I was looking in the mirror and saw a fat failure, and perhaps some of you can, can relate feeling obese or feeling out of shape, Instead of seeing myself as a fat failure, what this allowed me to do is actually change my mindset and turn that negative perception into a positive reception and actually see that I was actually successful at putting on weight. <laughs> so instead of sabotaging my desire to increase my physical abilities and, and increase my energy, it invited me to exercise more and pay attention to what, what, what I was taking into my temple of my spirit, which brings me to the second major category of mental. Obviously, it allowed me to increase my reading schedule and force me to actually allow myself the luxury of realizing that storytelling is at the heart of leadership, of parenting, of coaching, of teaching, and allowed me to actually focus in on writing my 36th book, which I affectionately call story selling subtitle how to persuade people to think laugh cry act follow and buy but more significantly i've become a more spiritual person because as i embrace the sounds of silence it allowed me to understand and actually hear that still small voice of conscience of spirit of intuition tuning into the divine from the universe where i was I was prompted to do the right thing simply because it's the right thing to do. Yes, we know that religion is for those who are afraid to go to hell and spirituality is for those of us who have already been there. So I challenge you to take care of yourself. Become the very best version of yourself physically, mentally, and especially spiritually because we really are spiritual beings having a physical experience. So if you're serious about mastering your morning and your life, owning every single day and your destiny, and this message resonates with you, please share it with family, friends, teammates, and coworkers so that together we can rise.